made a video in a while, but I have a new version of my Portacolus. This is version 4, and it's way smaller and way faster. Okay, let's start building the gate. And to build the gate, you need a 3 by 16 area. And the first circuit we will be building in the gate is the magenta circuit. So, 4 from the end, you place a layer of sticky pistons above the ground. 8 long. And then a layer of pistons above that. And then a layer of regular pistons above that. And then we need to power the bottom layer of pistons, the middle layer of pistons, and then we need to power the top layer of pistons. So that's the extending. But when it's a retracting, this layer of pistons will be stuck up right here. So we need to power this layer of pistons to pull these ones back down to their original state. So we need to power these ones like this, and then just power all the magenta blocks with redstone. And then that's the mag magenta circle. Now we have to build the cyan circuit, so one block here, and then don't place this torch yet, because we don't really want to power all this stuff, but need a torch here, and then a torch there, and then a block on top of that, and another torch here, with a torch on top of that, and then a torch on the side of that, so you'll have a stack like this, and then eventually there'll be a portrait here. And then we need some blocks here, and then a repeater here, the block getting powered like that, and then we need redstone here with a repeater receiving power from this block. So power comes up from here, and then comes down here, and then repowers this and then we need a repeater here again and then power that again like this and then down here we need to power this redstone from over here so place two blocks here and retrieve power from here Bring it over with two repeaters for timing, and then it should power all the way across there. And then, on this side over here, we need to bring the current around to this back side. So, we do this by the current comes down here, and then down here, into a repeater, and then into the corner, and then three repeaters here. That's the cyan circuit. Next up is the green circuit. And we do the green circuit by making a couple of monostable circuits. And basically a monostable circuit just generates a one tick pulse. We need a torch there with this repeater set to three. Use a redstone there and there. And then break that so it doesn't mess all the pistons up. And then on this opposite side, place a block with a torch on the side, and then run this all the way down to the other end. And then fill it in with redstone, and place a block there, and there, and then there, with a torch there and there. And a repeater set the three. With a P 
piece of redstone there. And that is the green circuit. Now we need to build the yellow and red circuits. And the yellow circuit is a T flip flop. And the red circuit is just wiring for the buttons. So, place a yellow block here. And then couple up there. It's a sticky piston. And then a block here. And then a couple up. Place another sticky piston facing down. And then we need blocks there and there with a piece of redstone there and a torch there. And then the red circuit, we need a repeater set to four. This is very important. And then bring that current back around up here to the top. And then the buttons go here and here, and then redstone goes here, there, and there, and then there, and there, and then this should work. Nope, because I didn't place this torch. So now it should work. When you push it, it doesn't do anything, because it's waiting for the top to do something. Then you push it again, it does bottom. So it alternates between bottom and top every time you push the button. So, time for the top. Now it's time to do the purple circuit. And to start off the purple circuit, we're going to tap into this wire that we ran over here. And place redstone there. And a repeater set the three with a torch on top of that, and then a block with another torch, and then a block again with another torch, and then a block with another torch, and then you're going to want to make that stone brick, and then we start our glowstone pillar. This doesn't have to be glowstone. I just made it glowstone because it's faster. But if you don't make it glowstone, you'll have to do a stack of torches. And then run glowstone all the way up. So this uses the fancy glowstone trick where power can travel through the corners of the glowstone. And then we need to go across nine blocks on this one, that one, and this one. And then need a repeater here, here, here. This one's set to one delay, this one's set to three, and this one's set to three. And then glowstone, er, redstone, all across these purple, purple blocks. And then in place pistons across here, here, And then we can get rid of all of this, grab some gravel or sand, you can use sand too, some 
fences, and some stone bricks. And we need four layers of gravel, four sand, and then some sort of floor. So then this should be 100% functional. So it just went down, and then that's up. And down. Now I can show you how to hide this a bit with some stairs and stone bricks. So going to want to not cross those wires and generally if you put stone bricks next to this they connect and that doesn't look very well, very good so what you want to going to want to do is you want to come down like this all the way down to the bottom with upside down stairs and then Place a row up here, and then place upside down stairs here, and then a row here, some more upside down stairs, and then just basically fill all of this in. Design this however you would like. Uh, this I generally make this the front side. Oops, that's not right. This is generally the front side because if you look, this does not have wires where this does. So where so you have to build this out usually and then build up your walls. So usually the side's a lot flatter than the other sides. And what I like to do is on this back side, I like to put half slabs across right here. And this usually right here is better. So that's the gate. As you can see, it doesn't connect. And also make it so this wire doesn't get crossed. So they can go through that. And this gate turned out really nice. Uh, 
I mainly did it because my original gate video just recently hit 1 million views and I figured I could improve my last version and I ended up coming up with this. It's only 3 by 16 by 20. It's uh, I believe like 2 or 3 thinner in this direction and it's faster. If you have any problems, leave comments, and if you have any suggestions or things you would like me to make, just leave a comment or send me a message, and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I recently just hit uh, 2,000 subscribers, so thank, thank you to all my subscribers. Uh, I hope you like this video. I know that I haven't made any videos for a few months now, and I'm sorry about that. I've been super busy with classes, and hopefully with summer coming up, I'll have a lot more time to make you more videos. See ya.